A volunteer fire department in Bell County is in desperate need of new gear, but can't afford it. Our Adam Schindler explains how you can make a difference. Imagine being a firefighter and rushing into a burning building knowing that the gear you have on may not protect you long enough to reach the person you are trying to save. That is exactly what the volunteer firefighters at Central Bell County Fire and Rescue go through every time they enter a structure fire. I do get worried some of this old gear, like say being a company level officer, I have to make the decision whether to send somebody in or not. And it's, it's kind of a hard decision for me to make. Though they work with fire hoses and everything else to put out a fire, it's these jackets, pants, and boots that allow them to go inside and actually save lives. Now they are reaching out to the community to raise money for new gear. We can actually go into structure fires and last longer inside the structure fires and we don't have to worry about getting burned or any harm done to us. So it's really, really important that we have the newest gear. Retired veteran Samuel Tamundung, who helps out around the station, sees how important these volunteer firefighters are to the community. Yeah, I respect them with all my, my heart, what they do every single day. And I believe that they should always have something because they go their way every day serving and doing what they do the best. That is saving lives and new gear will help them do just that. We can't help anybody if, we're killing, if we kill ourselves getting there. Um, and that's one of the biggest things, issues that we have here with, with the gear that we have and with the equipment that we have. The problem is they don't have the funding that paid departments do and they need to replace over 20 sets of gear. Each set costs over $2,500. In Nolanville, Adam Schindler, 25 News.